seriously um people believed in me and i saw that my music was actually making a difference and i enjoyed it so much that i just didn't want to stop and it's pretty much my dream for ever um i've always wanted to um find a way to sing and play um and write music i've played instruments my whole life but this was actually an opportunity for me to um write music and play and sing so you know i couldn't carry the piano so i just you know picked, you know my best friend got me a guitar and then from there um, I was just blessed to know that my dream was also my purpose and then I just, you know, kept it moving with that. She's actually the person who brought me my guitar. When I was 21, he told me, um, you need to keep practicing and you need to um, make flyers and you need to perform. And um, I was gonna say, if you never did that, I probably would never be here. So I was gonna say thank you for that. Felicia <laughs> Fernandez. Well, she was actually just in um, the piano lesson by all the and that was on um, Seminole State College. Seminole State College, and she was actually the lead actress. Yeah, she was amazing. <laughs> yeah, she was She brought me everything her $100 a week paycheck could afford, but her parables were priceless. Lana, which is a name that only she could call me, if you want good, you know it's half a run. That meant <laughs> that in life, I would have to push past difficulty and discomfort to succeed. You taught me that on the brink of breakthrough, fear would try to kill you, mom. The tears that you have shed have built a bridge from me to my destiny. And I know I can never really tell you all this, so I just hope that you know that you are the reason why I believe in the morning. And, and when I do get the chance to look you in the eye, those 67-year-old windows, silver rings around your pupils. I call them your halos. I will tell you that I know that mothers are angels that never learn to fly. So they take the city bus and they teach their little girls that a heart is a gift that you give God no matter how many pieces you have left in a thank you for showing me that no matter, no matter if your knees refuse to function and you can't stomach to stand, that you can look to the hills because the sky would be reaching for you. Mom, thank you for teaching me that forgiveness becomes the wings of the wounded. On, so, I will, I will rush to the shore of my future on a wave called faith and I will stare my demons in the face with hand grenades and I will finally show up to a fight that love has already died and won. And when it's all said and done, and I get a chance to look my daughter in the eye, I will tell her that she is beautiful before she even knows how to spell it. I will gift her bouquets of stars just because I will tell her that doors and monsters are nothing to be afraid of. I will show her that a man's love doesn't make you a woman, your voice does. I will tell her that if you want good, you know it's happy run, and I will do whatever I can to make sure that it doesn't. My name is Felicia Shalon Wright. Well, I, I, I think I started really young, just writing in journals, uh, expressing myself, really getting in touch with how I felt, and uh, finding a safe place where I can do that 
in you know the confines of a, a journal. And so um, I didn't really start performing until I want to say maybe last year or a couple years ago, doing that in front of people. So you uh, you embrace your courage because you understand that sometimes the stories that you tell are not just for you, but they really touch, heal, um, comfort other people. So even if you don't have the courage to do it for yourself or you're a little insecure or afraid, you find that strength in God, um, knowing that He's with you and you just um, have the freedom to bear your soul um, and just not judging yourself and accepting yourself as human and, uh, and knowing that we all share the same feelings and that people will accept you as well.